Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 20th Glossop Lecture. It is my great pleasure and honor to be here with you today to give a brief introduction for the year's Glossop medalist, Dr. Douglas Jean Hutchinson, Professor in Geological Engineering at Queen's University in Canada. I met Jean eight and a half years ago when I moved to Canada to pursue my PhD studies at Queen's. And I find myself immensely fortunate to have studied under, under and worked with her uh, on field trips and several courses. One of the first things I noticed about Jean was her endless energy. She would arrive to the lab and host meetings with your students all day long, then she would take the first plane to Vancouver, and the next day she would fly out to another country to attend another conference or give another lecture. I was fascinated by her passion and accomplishment, especially as a female engineer, I was looking up how she was juggling professional excellence while raising her two lovely daughters. which I, I believe they knew more about geology by the age of 10 than any other fourth year graduate uh, university, university graduate. Ground Engineering Magazine recently gave her the title of rock star. While well-deserved, it might be considered as understatement. Let me provide some context as to why. In 1992, she received her Doctor of Philosophy from the University of Toronto, where she pursued her PhD in rock engineering under Professor Professors Ever Hook's supervision, who, by the way, is the recipient of the second loss of medal. Hope this trend continues. Between nine, 1992 and 1995, Jean collaborated with Dr. Mark Dieters, writing their book on cable vaulting in underground mines, which is currently included by many academics in the teaching curriculum worldwide. She gained experience as rock engineer, working in mines around the world until 1997, when she became an assistant professor at the University of Waterloo. In 2001, Jean joined Queen's University, where she was awarded the full professorship title uh, in 2010. During her academic life, Jean has supervised over 30 MSc and PhD students has published more than 300 papers and chapters in international journals and conferences, and has written several technical reports. She is one of the first academics who combined remote sensing with engineering geology. In 2018, Jean was elected to be part of the steering board of the International Association for Engineering Geology and the Environment as the vice president for North America the only woman in the committee. John Dean is used to, be, used, used to receiving recognition, awards, and medals during her career. It's a very long list that starts back in 1984, when she received the Geoengineering Gold Medal from the University of Toronto, the year she finished her bachelor's degree in civil engineering. Despite all of these awards, Jean will always be the second Hutchison who receives the Gloss of Metal. And for those who are aware of John Hutchinson, you would understand this. Not even your first name can help you. Jean in French is, is used for John. When she's not working, Jean enjoys spending time with your family. Most likely you will find them traveling, taking long walks with their dog, Shadow, or exploring the world, the world through her camera lenses. When she asks when she asked me to give her introduction tonight, I have to admit, I was both thrilled and shocked and surprised. I thought, why me? It didn't take long to understand the significance. Firstly, I believe it is about giving opportunities and voice to young engineers. She's a unique educator and mentor who is always developing her teaching techniques to adapt to younger generations. And when I say young, I mean really young. To give you an example, she has once visited a kindergarten, a kindergarten for a session in geology, spark, sparking in children's interest and curiosity early. Secondly, I believe it's about empowering female engineers. 
She's a role model for many, certainly mine, and we are thankful for her inspiration and grit, for showing us the way to move forward, boost our science further, and solidifying our role as equal members of the scientific community. Without further ado, I should now invite Professor Jean Hutchinson, the third female close-up medal recipient to the podium, to deliver the 20th close-up lecture titled Building Slow Process Models Considering Engineering Geology, Extending Our Understanding, Interpretation and Communication of Instability Using Remotely Sensed Data. Thank you.